more bites on the boat than I am on the water. And flies kill me. I promise I took a shower. Damn it. The only bass I've got a hold of. He come off. I'll tell you what, fishing out of one of these things is harder than it looks. You get used to fishing out of a bass boat and then you go down to one of these and it's tough. I'm trying to I just got another one. He's a little one, but I got one. trying to get the fish in the boat when you're sitting down in a hole like this is, is uh, challenging. And this is a little fish. I can't imagine catching a, a big one. You throw him back and let him grow. It may be over here on this road bed. And I was hung up again and knocked myself, knocked myself out with my rod. Okay. I don't see how you guys in them kayaks do it. Put Ultrax on this thing. <sighs> Not a big one, but it's a fish. gosh I 
finally got him. I missed this fish like four times. Oh, I'm shaking so bad. All right, let's get this thing weighed and, uh, and get her back in the water. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that was... I can't believe that. That just goes to show you right there that I don't want to fall in the water. You don't need an expensive bass boat to catch big fish. So, whew, tell you what, that one, that was worth sitting out here for two hours just catching dinks. I'm gonna weigh this thing. Let's get this thing turned on. Is it zeroed out? Six point two two. That's one of the biggest fish I've ever caught. Um, oh my goodness, what a beautiful fish. All right, let's get her turned back. Oh man. There you go, girl. There she goes. Tell you what, them right there will get you all tore up. She was pulling me around the pond. So the the bass I just caught, I caught it on a three eighths ounce Lick Creek Custom Lures. That's a uh, flipping jig, black and blue, and I've got it paired with a Strike King Rage Tail structure bug I think is what it's called in the black and blue color and I got a little bit of garlic scent rubbed on there from uh, all in tackle but the big bass just can't resist this stuff if it's tough I usually tie on this jig and uh, can usually catch two or three big ones and it just uh makes for a lot better day but all I'm doing is I'm just throwing this jig up in these little trees that's on this road bed uh, and this is the deep end of the pond so there's actually a creek that comes in back here so there's always fresh water coming in and usually back there is where I catch them at but I seem to be having better luck over here today He's mad. He's mad. Again. And he got my trailer, but that's okay. Lick Creek Custom Jig. Got him again. Pretty fish. I'd say that one weighs probably... Two, two and a half, maybe. <laughs> 